So in my opinion, it's very pleasing to have people who kind of show up and actually questioning the existence of God. They're saying, oh, how can they, you know, question that? Well, it's good. Because there's a lot of people who have doubts in their heart, but they like to show to society that, yeah, yeah, we believe in God, you know, and that's not really the way we want it. You know, we you don't really look for the outside look, uh, you know, and what you actually say by the tongue. We care about your heart, right? And the first step to reaching to the heart is to be very, you know, honest and in a very respective way, questioning. Uh, the questioning, okay, how was God is there? How can you prove the existence of God? I mean, what about evolution? What about, you know, dinosaurs? What about so many things? I mean, this is uh, a very healthy way of actually reaching to your Lord. Okay, so people who actually have questions, I mean, it's good to kind of, you know, bring it up and uh, be open from the heart, asking questions that with the intention to reach to the truth about this life. So the first step always to ask, you know, how can we prove the existence of God? I mean, a lot of people who actually are strong believers of God, they come up and they tell you, okay, by science, you know, he's there, you know, by, you know, different, uh, uh, you know, social manner, you can prove that God exists. And everyone has his own way to tell you uh, how and in the way you should be proving the existence of God. Now, my way is different. Okay, maybe a little bit different. My way is that my perspective I don't think I can really prove the existence of God through algebra, geometry, or science, or any of that. For me, God's existence is just a mere feeling. It's, it's just a feeling that, you know, through that feeling, you will see life in a different way, different perspective. The same facts that you're seeing right now, your feelings determine the way you should be looking upon it. Okay, so the feeling is something that I think uh, worth talking about. It's not something that I can convince you to have. It's something that it should come with time. Okay, so what do I mean by the, the, the feeling part? Okay, so imagine yourself, you are that person right now. When I say the feeling means how, okay, and that's the feeling of the existence of God, right? So the people who are very pious, and who feel the existence of God, usually it's going to be a very close, where you're actually feeling the existence of your Lord around you. But honestly, because of the way we're living our lives and our hearts getting attached in different ways, that, you know, entity that makes you feel the existence of God is being going away further and further. The facts has not changed. What you know about your Lord doesn't change. But the way you feel about his existence keeps pushing away to a point that, you know, it may reach to an agnostic state or maybe even to the point of atheism where you actually don't feel that, you know, you know, God actually exists. It's just a feeling and that feeling goes back and forth throughout our lifetime and it depends what we do with our lives. So it's all about you actually if you want to get that feeling closer or further. It's not something I can convince you. It's something with your life uh, struggles and what you do with your lives. Will this thing move closer or not? Once it gets very close, you're going to see life in a way different way than a person who's seeing it from that. Same facts, same everything, nothing changed about life. But what's actually is changing is the presence of your Lord's, you know, in your, uh, from an emotional aspect. Okay. Once you reach here, my Lord, I'm telling you one thing, you will never want it to go away anymore. You will do everything it's, you know, to keep it right there. But the first step, how can we be from somewhere far and we get it closer and that's the topic i want to discuss in this youtube so so what i suggest and what i recommend is okay first step okay assume god exists assume a superpower does exist i mean i don't have evidence but assume he's there and he has all these great qualities that you really wanted to have in in a, in a lord like the extremes of everything you know, you know, the, the ethics is part of it. Everything is part of that. And then you start living your life. Okay. Initially, what I call is that you may start to appoint what I call the feeling is an interest feeling. You're interested to know more about your Lord. You're not really feeling that he exists, but you're interested, right? And you live your own life. You move forward. And what happens is that, you know, your Lord will start putting you in different challenges or different tests temptations different things in your lifetime and that's when is the opportunity to grow your relationship with your lord 
So if you have a challenge in your life where you have to make a decision, there's an ethical decision, and there's a decision where you can get more, you know, you know like money or, you know, different things that uh, are considered to be, you know, not the right way, let's say, you know, are you willing? That's a, that's a very simple question. Are you willing to struggle yourself to do the right thing, to do what you think your Lord wants? You know, even it means you have to struggle for it. I mean, that means you may lose money for it. You may lose friends for it. You may lose your job for it. Are you willing to actually go through that process or not? Most people will say, no way, man. I want to see and keep whatever I have right now. I want to keep my job. I want to keep the money. I want to keep the house. I want to keep everything. I mean, I'm willing to do the wrong thing, but I want to keep this. And that's really, you know, the, the majority. The day where we decide to say, okay, I want to do the right thing no matter what, even if I lose the most beloved thing to my heart, that's the starting point where you will actually go through a short-term pain. A very small pain. It's the struggling pain. But if you kind of persist yourself through that struggling, the beauty is that the other end of the tunnel, you're going to see a light that you've never seen before. And that light is actually because your emotions are changing in a manner where it's getting closer to you now. And because the emotions are getting closer to you, you will start to learn about your Lord and you will start being convinced about the existence of your Lord gradually. Your interest will become something of an attraction now. Okay? So it's not going to be like one shot. You're going to like, oh my God, now I know. No, no. You're going to go slowly. And that emotions will grow. Okay? But you have to be willing to struggle yourself to do what you believe is right. And the more the struggle and the more the pain that you think you're going through, the more the reward you're going to see afterwards. And that's why I have, you know, in a separate uh, YouTube, I was discussing about the feeling that you can go through from an interest to an attraction, to an attachment to your Lord, to a loving your Lord, and find it to be submissive to your Lord. And you can go through that process over time as you go through challenges. And every time you're going to go through that, you're going to see new stuff and you're going to learn new things you never known before. Like you have not added information about the world. It's the same world. But your emotions will expand the horizon of what you're going to see about that life. And you're going to be start answering questions, you know, about your Lord that you are questioning in your mind. And then you get more and more convinced. And there's no way to convince someone else. It's you because of the elated emotion that you went through. You are actually experiencing, you know, things that you wish other people may, you know, see it. But it's not easy, right? Because the emotions is the main factor to expand the mind and see the truth and eventually as you actually continue to go through the struggles doing the right thing every time what happens is that you will learn more about your lord you may evolve in the definition of your lord who he is supposed to be and what i call it in my jackpot series is that you will eventually reach to this point and you'll be sitting right there with your lord so close to you now and you'll be wondering why i haven't seen all this before You'll be like sitting right there. You're like, of course the Lord is there. Of course I mean, And you'll be so convinced and you try to tell people, but no one's going to believe you. Why? Because you're the only one with the elated emotion. If you want to help others, you need to advise them how to elate the emotion through sincere struggles to the right thing. And that's how we can define our Lord and get to know our Lord. Okay? And it's becoming now, in this era, a higher challenge than before. Yes, before there were wars and uh, primitive living, but that primitive living allowed people to see the Lord easier than now. Now we are all absorbed to this technology that we're in, you know, whether it's our laptops, our social medias, our medias. We're so kind of, you know, inside a shell that it's becoming very hard to get out of the shell and actually seeing the truth about your Lord. So you're going to reach the point, not saying I believe in the tongue. You will reach the point that your heart is so connected to him. And your life will be so different. Okay. So how to reach that? Very simple. Summary. Number one, assume your Lord is there. Assume with the qualities that you want to make the assumption about him. Number two, live your life. Number three, you'll be challenged. Are you going to be doing the right thing? Submitting to the right thing? struggling to do the right thing in every you know transaction you go through 
Or are you going to be weakened, you know, with the world benefits and the world attractions, whether it's a job, money, family, people, uh, women, it doesn't matter. And as I said, every time you pass those challenges, you're going to get to know your Lord more and more because that feeling is going to get closer and closer all the way till the point you reach very close. And that's my jackpot goal. I know it's a lot of information, but again, it's very simple very simple it's all about are you willing to struggle to do the right thing that you know or are you going to be weak and you know just get the benefits of this world it's a very simple question i mean and it's your choice thanks